My name is Jacob Rosa. Uh, I've been coming to Gateway for the past uh, three, three and a half years. At a young age, I grew up in a broken home. Dad was an alcoholic, abusive. My mom was addicted to uh, medications. And then uh, after my dad left, I became angry and resentful towards a lot of people in my family. So I started doing cocaine at a young age. At age 12, 13, I was already, you know, smoking crack, uh, smoking weed, you know, popping pills, drinking. Uh, by the age of 15, I was, uh, I was smoking methamphetamines. I ended up going to juvenile detention, TYC, by the age of 16. That's kind of like, you know, the beginning of my in and out of jail, county, assault, causes bodily injury. Uh, Grand Theft Auto, robbing homes, so burglar and habitations and convenience stores, doing beer runs. Went to state jail by the age of 20, 21, and I got in lots of trouble as I was sitting in prison as well. I was uh, dealing with a lot of resentment, unforgiveness, hatred, selfishness, uh, a lot of pain from neglect and rejection. So I walked around like stiff and emotionless. Um, I harmed a lot of people. So if you want to talk about doubt, man, I doubted God in my entire life. I didn't know God. I didn't want to know God because of the way my life turned out. I didn't care about nothing or nobody. It was all about me. One day I just felt tired, like done. Like, I don't want this no more, man. I, my, none of my family wanted me around. I couldn't see my kids. I was just done and I was sleeping in front of a church. And, and I looked up in the sky and I was like, man, God, if you're real, then take me away from this place. You know, I was homeless. I didn't have nothing to eat. And in 2014, 2015, I got sentenced to five years in TDCJ. I got locked up three days after I looked up into the sky and told God, like, I'm done. In 2016, I received Christ in my life. I got baptized on Christmas Day. And two hours later, after I got baptized, I get into a fight to the point where it starts to write. In 2018, though, I was reading through Isaiah God clearly said, I have plans for you to bring prosperity, not to harm you. And I think that's where I overcame my doubt in Jesus Christ. Like I felt this new sense of surrender and I just surrendered. I said, you know what, God, you're right. I'm done. I felt like there was somebody there with me the entire time and was expressing their love to me. I just wanted to serve. I wanted to be involved with, uh, with uh, the community. So now here at Gateway Church, I've been able to become a, a commission leader. But because of my transformation in life, we also do an outreach ministry called Breaking Bread Outreach Ministries. We go out there in the streets. We use our Gateway community and our relationships to help kind of donate towards what we do. And then we go out there and we minister the Word of God. I went from robbing people to trying to help people now, <laughs> all through the glorification of Jesus Christ. I intentionally wanted to know who he was, and so therefore I sought him. And when I sought him, he revealed himself to me, and that's why I believe 100%, no wavering in my doubt, no wavering in my faith, because I know who God is now, and I know what he can do for me, and I know what he can do for others.